Hey, this is Joey with BMG Drive, and today we're going to take a look at a 1968 Chevrolet Nova. And it was a mod that I found on the official forums, as usual. And the guy who made it said he made the model about 10 years ago, but he didn't really have any use for it, and so he decided, oh, I could make this model into a mod for BMG Drive. So that's exactly what he did. And we'll go ahead and pull out the Nova so you can see what it looks like. There are four versions of it. We will just look at the default version for now. And we'll take it out in red. Or blue. I saw the red color first and thought, okay, that's not a very good way to start off a video, is it? <laughs> it says no textures on the windshield actually all the windows say no textures um usually those are clear I'm not sure why it says no texture but uh, it does have a, a uh, fully modeled interior um, we can go ahead and if the camera will work uh, we can go ahead and look at it it seems to be very nicely detailed um, the uh, gauges work I think the speedometer works. Yeah, the speedometer works, and so does the tachometer. So that's good. Um, let's see, the steering wheel turns. Doesn't even turn that much, does it? That's kind of funny. Oh, goodness. I am spinning out already. Oof. That's not good for the car. And that really isn't good for the car. Yeah, I heard a bang. Tons of camera angles on this thing. I mean, there's not tons of it of them, but there are a few. There's the interior. This one, which is kind of in between the seats. Um, oh, the pedals move. Check that out. I'm braking right now. I'm holding the gas right now. You can see the pedals moving. That's neat. Um, there's also this camera angle, which um, looks like it's above the wheel, the rear wheel. And of course, there's the normal camera angle. Um, and actually, I'm just going to go ahead and restart the game and see if I can get these textures fixed. Alright, I've restarted the game. Hopefully, the uh, textures are back. I haven't actually tested whether or not they are. So, we will try again. Um... Yeah. I actually don't know what to say when the game is loading. It's just it's loading. And that's it. Anyway, now that we're back at Grimmap, we can go ahead and pull out the Nova again. I hope, I hope, I hope the textures are fixed. Blue. Alright, good. Alright, now the car looks normal. Now um, we can go ahead and take a look at the skeleton of the car. You can see it is quite detailed. Um, it was actually modified on the um, Moonhawk J-beams. And um, it seems to uh, work pretty well for the car. The um, wheel is actually busted on that side, isn't it? I was about to say the car itself has a turbo button. The turbo button is T. So you can go really fast and uh, hopefully crash into something. Oh, I missed the cube. Well, something broke. Come on, crash into that pole. Nope. Oh well, I guess we're going to fly instead. Oh, come on. That's no fun. You're supposed to crash. I mean the car crash, not the game crash. Sometimes the game crashes. It's actually annoying. Smash. Oh, yeah. There's some damage. And now we are flipping over. into the mud
I don't really notice any oddities in the damage there. I'm go ahead and reset the car and close this stupid Norton thing that always comes up when I first start the game again. Uh, anyway, we can go ahead and um, go ahead and crash this some more. Smash. Well, that didn't do that much damage. It just messed up the tires. Oh well. We can go ahead and um, add some explosions to this video. We can go ahead and spawn a new vehicle, which always takes a minute. There we go. And let's see. Propane tank. Where is the propane tank? There it is. There's the propane tank. Now we can put it inside the car. Uh, maybe if the camera will cooperate. There we go, that looks good. Whoops, no. Ah, that's in the ground. I don't know where that is. I think it's in the car. Perfect. That's good enough for me. Whoops, and the propane tank, not the car. Go! Now we're going to crash the car into a wall or a cube. Probably that wall over there. And we'll do it in slow motion because this game does have slow motion. Um, so hopefully it'll. No, it does not do the slow motion for some reason. That is annoying. Okay. Um, all I did was unfreeze physics. And now the slow motion takes place. You're a little late there. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully, I can time the slow motion. The engine sounds kind of funny right now. Uh, Alright, slow motion now. Alright, there we go. Uh, a little bit faster now. Faster, slower. Slower! Slower! I said slower! Oh. Oh well. You can see the car explode at least. And all sorts of things are breaking. Uh, I can't really see anything because the smoke cloud. Um. Well, it definitely expanded the cabin a bit. What does the interior look like? That's the interior camera. Uh, yeah. Hmm. It's broken. Real time. Alright, let's reset the car before that happens again. Alright, now what else could we do with this thing? Um, let's see if I can time the slow motion again properly. Oh goodness. Turn. There we go. I don't want to turn too much. Oh no. That's no good. Um. That doesn't look like a Chevy Nova anymore, does it? Whoa. What did I hit? Okay, that was weird. I don't remember clicking on anything. That was weird. Whatever. Um, yeah. That's ruined. Alright. Let's do something else. Let's actually, um, look at the other versions of the car. We'll start with, um, let's just go 350 Firestone. Well, already I see a difference. The uh, wheels are different. Um, what's the engine? Oh, the engine is different too. Yeah, it is different. Okay, neat. Look at that detail on the engine, though. That's pretty detailed. Um, we can actually. I think there's a difference between the 427 and the um, 
the 350 so let's just go ahead and remove the body there's the engine you could see it now and then let's spawn another hey come here menu let's go ahead and spawn another vehicle and we'll go ahead and see if we can see the difference because I'm a hundred percent sure there's a difference between those two engines 427 Firestone Oh, the 427 Firestone has hubcaps. The other one doesn't. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the body. Yep, you can see the difference already. Just back this up real quick. Put the parking brake on. You can see the difference quite clearly. Look at that. 427. 350. Neat. Let's go ahead and put the body back on. Let's see, body. There we go. And now we can drive it around some more and crash it into things. Um, let's see, we've seen it explode. Did I mention the gauges on the inside work? I don't know if I did or not. I should point that out. The um, the lights work too. The headlights work. And uh, brake lights work. Those are reverse lights. Well now I know those work too. I wasn't sure if those worked or not. Oh no, the hubcaps! There go the hubcaps. Thing has brake lights, yep, has brake lights, and the turn signals work. So, all those little details. And, um, let's go ahead and crash this thing a few more times, and then we'll end the video. How strong is the roof? It's something I don't think I've ever tested in any of my cars, or any of the cars I have. But we could go ahead and test that now. There goes the hubcaps. Oh my goodness, I think all of them flew off. That's not exactly testing the roof, that's more testing the suspension, but um, I guess we could do that too. Hmm, I still have that other car without the body. Come on. This thing does like to power slide a lot, doesn't it? Or oversteer, I guess you could say. Oversteer, power slide. What is the difference between that? I don't know the difference between oversteer and power sliding. Headlights are still on. Hmm. Here we go. Hopefully we can actually crash this thing and not just totally avoid the ramp. Or actually what I wanted to hit. And I'm spinning out. Ah. Oh well. We can try again. Just keep going. Keep going, car. Oh goodness, come on, turn, turn, turn. Alright, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that should damage the roof. Oh, it just landed on the wheels. That's exactly the opposite of what, of what I wanted to happen. Okay, well that's enough trying to flip this thing. We'll just go ahead and crash it and end the video. Flash it into the block. I like this mod though. It's nice. Alright, I'm just spinning out everywhere, so um, until next time, this is Joey. I'll see ya. Ooh, front blinkers work too. One more thing. Break all brake groups. Yeah. See ya.